As part of this hands-on, we are going to learn how to build and run a Hadoop MapReduce job. We are going to use the code from our GitHub repository, which is mentioned on the screen. In this repository, navigate to the folder for Java word count inside HDP examples slash Java as shown in the screen. Now, let's take a look at the code. Click on src slash com slash cloudxlab and then word count. To take a look at stubmapper.java, click on it. The first line is the package, which is essentially the namespace of your Java class. Then there are various imports. Whichever classes you want to use in your code, you need to import those classes. The remaining part of the file is the class definition that we have discussed earlier. Now let's go back to word count directory. Take a look at the reducer. The package and the imports are very similar to mapper and the class definition we have already discussed. Let us take a look at driver class 2. Your package definition followed by imports and then the class definition. You can see a lot of code is commented. Go through these comments because it would help you explore other configuration options of the job such as number of reducers or setting the custom input format. Also, notice that the package name is similar to the directory after the src. The package name is dot separated while the directory is slash separated. As part of this session, we are going to check out word count code and build it using ant on CloudX Lab web console. Let us log in to the console on CloudX Lab. Open cloudxlab.com slash mylab. Click on web console. Copy paste login and password. Please notice that the password field will not print anything on the screen while you key in your password. Now we have logged in to the console. Let's check out the code from GitHub using git clone. The exact command is shown on the screen. Here, the git is a source code management tool and GitHub is a public source code repository where we have hosted our code for exercises. It might take some time to check out or download the code. Once finished, it will create a directory cloudxlab. Please change directory to cloudxlab using cd cloudxlab. Take a look at the directory structure. It contains code for all other exercises in cloudxlab2. Let us go to the MapReduce with Java folder using cd hdp examples slash java. To build and prepare the jar, please use ant jar. Ant is a build tool and jar is a target defined in the build.xml, the configuration file for ant. You can take a look at contents of build.xml using either the GitHub repository interface or using cat build.xml command. Here, you can see the target jar is calling compile and bundling the resulting binaries into build slash jar slash hdp examples dot jar and compile is calling java compiler on our code. If ant jar is successful, it would create hdp examples dot jar in build slash jar folder. This jar contains the compiled MapReduce code. We would launch this using Hadoop MapReduce with the following command. Hadoop jar build slash jar slash hdp examples dot jar space com dot cloudxlab dot word count dot stub driver. The first argument to Hadoop jar is the location of jar. It could be relative location or absolute location. The second argument is fully qualified name of class. Please note that the jar should be in the local folder, not in HDFS. The driver basically creates 
Java MR out folder in HDFS for the results of Java MapReduce. The output folder exists. Therefore, the job has thrown an error. Let's delete the Java MR out directory from HDFS using Hadoop FS hyphen RM hyphen R Java MR out. For you, this deletion may not be required. Now, let's try to execute the job again. This time, the job is started. You can check the progress of job using hue. It would show the logs of the jobs here. Once this job is successful, it would have created Java MR out in your home folder in HDFS. Let us take a look. Go to file browser. If you have too many files, order by date in descending fashion. You can see Java MR out at the top of the list. It has two files, underscore success and part dash r followed by zeros. The success is an empty file. It signifies the status of MapReduce job. And the files starting with part contain output of the job. If we had configured multiple reducers, there would have been multiple files starting with part. Also note that if these files were generated by mapper, the name of the files would have dash m instead of dash r after prefix part. Now let's take a look at the contents of the file. The result is tab separated plain text. The first column is word and second column is the number of times the word has occurred. For example, the word accompanied has occurred 85 times. Also notice that the result is sorted by word alphabetically. You can modify the code using nanotext editor and recompile and rerun. Say, we want to change the output location. So, we are going to edit the driver using a text editor in Unix called nano. Nano space src slash com slash cloudxlab, slash word count, slash stepdriver, dot java. We are changing the output folder to java mr out 1 and saving the result by pressing control x and then confirming with y and pressing enter without changing the file's location. Let's clear the screen. Let's build again with ant jar and then execute the job. Let's check the results in file browser of hue. Thank you.